Hi, if you are wondering how to add a PDF viewer to your Wix.com website, um, I would urge you to first go into the site manager and duplicate your site. So I have already duplicated my site. This is a website copy. So in the ADI, you can pretty easily generate a website and so you want to make a duplicate site just in case you mess everything up and want to go back. Now, once you've done that, go to Edit Site. You get the loading. Woohoo! Look. Okay, here we are. So I am looking at my site. It's the same as my previous site. I'm going to skip all this. Um, let's skip everything. And what I want to do is go to site and go down to go to editor. Okay, so I go to the editor and it's going to want you to confirm. Oh my goodness, very, very scary. Wait for it. And you're still waiting. Okay, so now that I'm here, oh, thank you, light boxes. All right. Um, I am probably going to want to add my resume. Now right now I have a box that goes to, uh, a, a button that goes to my resume, but I want to add my actual resume itself. So I'm going to go here on the app market. Note how I clicked on it over here on the right. It's that third, third icon down and I'm going to put in PDF viewer. And see there's a PDF viewer by Wix right there. This is what you want. You're going to add it to the site. Lo and behold, this thing comes up. This is your actual, you know, this is it. <laughs> um, so here you have it. You can move it around. You can resize it. And you can put a document in it. Uh, so let's say on this page. I'm going to delete that image and I just want to stick my, my uh, PDF viewer right down there. Woohoo! Look at me putting a PDF viewer down there. Alright, I'm going to resize it. Now, I select it again, go to settings. I'm going to select a file. Now that allows me to browse for files, so I can upload files right here. I can upload documents. I have a dumb resume example that was present. Um, it's just a, a Microsoft example. It's a template. And now that's going to, that was already uploaded, but I could have uploaded files. I can always replace a file. Now I can choose whether I want the full viewer that shows the whole page, whether I want a one page whether I want a thumbnail, or it's teeny tiny, whether I want a mini viewer. Um, so I have all these options, and, uh, and people can download the document. I can decide whether to make the links accessible, allow visitors to download it, allow people to print it. Hooray, look at all my options. I can resize as needed. Uh, so decide what I need, what looks right. And um, then what can I do if I want to have another one of these? Well, I can do what I just did, or I can select the whole thing and go Control-C, um, or copy. Just a minute. Ah, there it is. So there's my, there's my Control-C, Control-V. Okay, so I can just move this around and put it where I want to put it. So it has, it has uh, wound up. Now I can make it really, really small. I can make it a thumbnail, as we discussed before, in my settings. And I can, for this one, create a, uh, add a new file. So I can just go here and upload documents. I hope that helped. Uh, if you're having confusion about how to do this, uh, please try you know, play with it.